<laughs> Dominic Brazil. Uh, fighting February 25th, man, on the undercard of uh, Wilder versus Washington, man. Tell us about that. It's going to be good, man. Uh, February 25th, Lake Scene Arena. Um, fighting PBC on Fox, man. My opponent's uh, Izu Yagando, I think his name is. Uh, he stands 6'3", 230 pounds, um, you know, 17-0, 14 KOs. Nice, big, strong, solid cat, man. He's got punching power. He's proven it. Um, all his fights mostly been, been in New Zealand. I think he's fought a couple times in Vegas, so it'll be a good little showing, man. Uh, from what I understand, he likes to fight, and I like to fight as well, so we definitely give the fans what they want to see. Definitely. You said he's a chief sparring partner for... Um, yeah, yeah, chief sparring partner for uh, Joseph Parker. Just won the, uh, I believe, the WBO belt. Right, yeah, yeah, that's right. Your uh, your friend, Gerald Washington, man, is getting the shot against Wilder on that main event. Tell yeah, us about that. It's great, man. It's a you know, blessing in disguise, man. You know, I know Gerald has been sitting around waiting for a, a, fall, a call for a fight. He took it on a short notice, but, you know, he's one of those guys that's always in the gym, so he'd definitely be prepared for it, man. Uh, yeah, Gerald's got to come out and shine, man. He's got to show up. You know, it's the WBC title, heavyweight title. Everybody, everybody's wishing and praying to, you know, get that opportunity. And he's definitely got the phone call, so... Uh, you know, I understand he's, he's, he's taking the right step forward and, and getting prepared. Uh, hopefully we get some rounds in next week. And, well, I got his back, man. He, uh, I've been in here. We've been in the trenches together. So uh, he's got he's, he's got to do what he's got to do. How happy is just as, as a friend of his knowing that he's getting the shot? Obviously, you guys are all working towards the, the heavyweight title. That's the goal once you get into yeah. in the sport and everything. But when you heard that he was getting the shot, it's like, what, what were your feelings like being that that's your friend? Oh, super excited for him, man. You know, of course, I, I always want to get that phone call. But yeah. you know, <laughs> he got it being my friend, being a tra guy I train alongside. Uh, you know, we've been there, we've done that. There's times we don't want to spar, we get in there, we spar with each other. Um, so it's all starting to pay off, man. Now, now it's just a matter of taking all that experience and all, all that you learn. He's got 18 fights now, he's undefeated. Everybody keeps saying he's been gifted the opportunity. He said, man, he had 18 tests and he passed every single one of them. So it's time to, you know, get in there and shine, man. You know, WBC title, that's what, that's what we hope and pray for, man. So he's been given the opportunity. I'm super excited for him, man. I can't wait for the 25th to get here. I'm fighting right before him. I'm going to get my knockout and he's going to get his knockout right after. <laughs> Sounds a great combination, man. Gotta, gotta ask you, man, big heavyweight fight on the horizon, Joshua versus Tetsuko. Obviously, you've been in the, the ring with, uh, with Joshua. Tell us what happens in that. You know, uh, I think it's going to be a great fight, man. It, it all depends on Klitschko, man. He wakes up and, and, and understands and believes he's a bad SOB. Um, Klitschko walks away knocking Joshua out in that fight. But at the same time, you get a, you give a guy like Joshua confidence and let him into the fight, man, uh, he's, he's going to run with it. And uh, Joshua, Joshua was a big, strong, fast athletic guy. I've been in the ring before with him. I, you know, he knocked me down a couple times in our fight, and I, and, I, and I hope we get to do it again because I got a lot more for him, man. Uh, but at the same time, he, he works off confidence, man. They're, they're taking him out of his element. He's not fighting his O2 arena, his lion den, so call it. Uh, doing a ton of publicity. You can already see he's, he's rattled a little bit. Um, and Klitschko's, man, been there, done that. I think he's got 60-something pro fights, man. And uh, been there, done that, fell down, got back up, won the belts again. You know, he's been there, done that. So it's one of those situations, man, it's, it's definitely experience and wisdom against a, a young up-and-coming up rising, rising star. So. You said you, you you see him rattled. What, what yeah. is it that you see that, that what's what's different about he's just, this? He's just out of his element, man. Usually, usually he's tucked away, you know, in, a, in a training camp as of right now, sparring, doing his thing, um, not doing promotions in you know Madison Square Garden or you know New, New York Times Square and all over you know the country or the world. Um, so it's it's I understand. There's a lot of other stuff as far as promotion going into a big fight like that, make a fight. Uh, but at the same time, man, uh, as, a, as a fighter who works and thrives off confidence of being in, you know, training, sparring camp, whatever it may be, uh, sometimes that may rattle a fighter. You some take him out of their element, you know? Yeah, definitely. I want to ask you uh, about his power because obviously his record shows that he's, you know, knocked everyone out that he's fought. But I, I, I don't know. I mean, is his power kind of like thudding? Is it surprising? Is it, how would you describe it? Uh, it's a combination of everything, man. The, uh, the speed, his power, his strength, his ability. Um, not that it's, it's, yeah, I've ever been, you know, I've been hit harder for sure, by all means. Uh, I've been hit a lot of several other pro fights, several other sparring sessions, I've been hit harder. Um, but it, it's one of those situations, man, when it's, uh, you're getting hit with a couple of shots consistently over and over, and then finally that bruising shot comes. That's, that's the one that does, you know, does, does rattle the cage. Um, I, could, I can't necessarily pinpoint it. I can't tell you, oh man, it's devastating. He hits every time he, he landed a shot, it, it hurt, you know, because that wasn't the case. It's just, it was a, 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 an addition of, you know, Alice shots kind of tallying up. Um, and, you know, in the end, kudos to him, man. He won the fight. He was the better man on the night. Uh, but like I said, man, uh, uh, I learned a lot more from that one loss than I did in my, my 17 wins. And I'm ready to do it again, man. I can't wait till I get that phone call or get that knock at the door and says, hey, man, Joshua wants to fight you again. Because to me, that's that, fighting Joshua and getting, getting that payback is more important than you know winning any kind of belt for me at this point. That's my that's my demeanor. That's my that's my mentality, man. So that's what I'm trying for. Yeah, I see. I, I a lot of fighters say that that kind of avenging the losses is, is 
becomes more important than maybe something yeah. like yeah, reaching that pinnacle. Definitely, yeah. definitely, man. If somebody got to pay, man, it's payback time. <laughs> it's payback time. Well, it's payback time, uh, February 25th, right? February 25th, uh, Legacy Arena, Birmingham, Alabama. PBC, uh, PBC on Fox, man. Somebody got to pay. <laughs> That's when it starts. Thank you, Dominic. Yeah, Appreciate of course. it. Thank